everyone and welcome back to my channel. I always say welcome back to my channel, but maybe you're new here, so welcome to my channel, as simple as that. By the way, if you're new here and you're not subscribed yet to my channel, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and support my work. You also get to always know when I upload a new video, so that's also pretty awesome. Anyways, today's video is going to be a bit of a part two to my jewelry collection video. If you haven't seen yet my jewelry collection, I will link it below in the description box. Basically, in my jewelry collection, I was showing you all of my pieces of jewelry, but I did mention that I was going to do a video a few weeks after on my favorite pieces and trying them on for you guys to see what I love the most. Most of these pieces will be linked also below in the description box for you to purchase if you're interested in one of these pieces of jewelry. Obviously, most of it is pretty much sold out because I've had it for more than 10 years for some of the things I'm going to show you. So what I may do is probably find a similar item for you to purchase or I will just write that unfortunately I didn't find a similar item. Some of the items I'm showing I'm also going to be putting on my Depop to sell because there's things I'm just not using at all and I prefer selling them and giving them a nice second home. I'm filming this a few weeks before posting this video so I don't know if it has been sold already or anything like that but I will link my Depop in the description box for you to go check out my items on sale so you can go purchase some stuff if you're interested. But without further ado let's get going into my favorite pieces of jewelry I own. I am going to start with a basic piece that all of you guys have seen me wearing since I've started YouTube last year in October and it's my little Tiffany necklace. I'm obviously going to put some close-ups of the items and some try-on little clips for you to see exactly how it looks but my little return to Tiffany necklace is my absolute favorite. Honestly I don't really know why because it's pretty basic. It's literally a heart necklace and that's it. I think this is just an emotional attachment that I have to this necklace. I got it last year in Milan and I think you guys know if you've been here for long enough that I love breakfast at Tiffany's. It's my favorite movie so I needed something from Tiffany & Co once in my life and since it's not too expensive the necklaces and bracelets that they have especially from the collection Return to Tiffany I decided to get it and honestly I've been wearing it much more than I thought. It's such a perfect necklace just to throw on whenever you're going somewhere. It just adds something to your little outfit so I'm definitely gonna link it below so like this you can go check it out if you're interested to get it for maybe your birthday or for a friend or for a family member. I feel like it's really great to have a piece of Tiffany & Co for such a low price in a way. So it's definitely one of my favorites if not my favorite jewelry item I own. I'm not gonna go in a specific order I'm just gonna be showing you all of my favorite necklaces then I'm gonna go into bracelets and then rings and earrings. So for my favorite necklaces we continue with two others. These ones are not from a specific brand but what I love is that they have a really beautiful significance to them and it's my two little astrological sign necklaces. I really hope you'll be able to see well in the clips and if you can't see well I encourage you to go to see my jewelry collection. I really go in detail on these necklaces as well but they're so pretty because I have one in gold and one in silver and one of them the gold one is from my boyfriend and the silver one from my best friend and they didn't know that they bought the same necklace in different colors or different material for me and it was so beautiful getting them. I got it the same year just like a few months apart and I am a Leo. I love horoscopes. I love my astrological sign. I love reading about it. Like get me anything with my sign. I will love it literally. So when they both got me that it was like you guys know me well like they know me so well like they're the best and two different colors like it's perfect you know so they're definitely my favorites and they're a bit like the Tiffany necklace in terms that they're very delicate so you can just put them on and just go anywhere with them and they look great then we're going into another necklace that I really love and this one is actually going to be related to bracelets this is how I'm going to transition into my favorite bracelets and it's my little Thomas Sabo chain and right here I already have a little charm on it I described it that it was the little birthstone that I have because it's the green little birthstone. I got this a long time ago. You will see in the clips it's a little bit like not looking great to be honest basically but I remember that when I was around 15-16 Thomas Sabo was really in at least in Switzerland and everybody had these chains with the charms and the bracelet with the charms and I still wear it like it's such a beautiful thing to wear. You can change up the charms so it's great just to be able to change depending on your mood or something and the chain looks great and to me it's really one of my favorites like it's a I would say a premium brand it's not as, as expensive as Tiffany but it's definitely not a cheap brand so I definitely love these ones I'm just seeing that it looks not too great I'll have to clean my necklaces and jewelry in general very soon but at least you get the idea so I really love that and this is how I'm gonna actually transition into my favorite bracelet as well and it's my little Tomasabo bracelet so it's all silver by the way the chain and the bracelet the only thing is the 
little bracelet I have right here, there's little holes right here all around it because it's meant to have your little charms attached. So I'm gonna show you clips of all the charms I own. I got a lot of them when I turned 16 because I did a really big party at Sweet 16, like huge and a beautiful place. And some people just brought me a lot of charms for Tomasabo or they brought me money and I would go get charms from the brand because I was obsessed with Tomasabo jewelry and charms. So for example, I have, I'm gonna put, insert all the clips now, but one of my favorite charms is definitely the beautiful, beautiful strawberry that I have. This one was a pretty expensive one. I it was like around 100 francs. It's a lot, but it's my ultimate favorite. You can wear it just on your chain for the necklace or in the bracelet. Then I also have another favorite of mine that is the little Swarovski. This one is not from Tomasabo. This one is from Swarovski. Like this little heart with the little keyhole. I find it beautiful. Probably one of my favorites as well. Then I have this little Eiffel Tower. I'm going to keep this one for sure even though I don't wear it that much but I just find it so beautiful that I'm gonna definitely definitely keep that. Then I have a little peace sign which is a little like pastel pink peace sign. This one as well I'm gonna keep it. It was really in at the time and it was one of my favorites so like it's emotionally a big deal for me. Then I have this little sparkly kind of silver charm. Obviously this one goes with everything so also one of my favorites. Then I have this little ribbon that is also very girly so keeping that one as well for sure. Now this one, I'm not so sure. I will see if I sell it or not. Um, it's this little like Liberty statue. Um, I just don't really know if I wanna keep it. I've never been to New York and I don't have like any ties to New York. So I don't know if I'll keep it. This one is another one of my favorite. It's the key with the little heart. I also wear that a lot around my neck on my necklace. Then I have obviously another favorite of mine, which is the M. Like everybody had their like first letter of their name. Like it was so cool to have that back then. So definitely, definitely keeping that. Then another one that is super nice it's this little football or soccer ball that I got during the South African World Cup so a long time ago and I actually really like it I always wear it when I watch football so it's really cool then I have these little cherries these ones I'm debating on keeping them or not I just don't wear them much but I love cherries and it was one of my first charms so I feel like emotionally it's hard for me to sell it but I will see um, if I do or not we have this little Japanese woman if I'm not mistaken I think it's Japanese I'm not sure if it's Japanese but anyways um, this one is cute my mom loves it so I think I might keep it for her um, instead of selling it then I have this little world like charm this one I've never worn it I think I will give it but uh, again I have no idea it's really nicely done though it's one of those expensive charms as well then I have this random Swiss heart definitely keeping this one even though I never wear it but as you guys know I'm from Switzerland so I want to keep that we have this little letter I've never worn it it's really not my style so this one I will be selling it. Then we have this little like cactus which is definitely not my style so unfortunately I've never worn that one like ever. The color is just not me either. And then we have the peace sign but this one is just all silver and as I said I already have one with pink and I like that one much better. This one I've never worn it. And finally I have this little, I have no idea how you call it in English, I forgot the name of this but anyways this little thingy that I just never wear. It's way too pink for me and it's just not my style either so these will probably have to go unfortunately so yeah, it was pretty long for my charms, but I wanted to show them all to you because Tomas Sabo has beautiful charms and I feel like it's such a nice thing to give as a gift or even to just have for yourself. So I really wanted to show them to you in this video. Now we're going into another bracelet I also presented in my jewelry collection and it's the double crystal bracelet from Swarovski. This one is basically a double one. So it means that you just can put it twice around your wrist. I have one that is silver that is just one. And unfortunately, as I think I said, um, it broke. So the crystal are going out of it so I can't wear it so I always have to go to this one this one is beautiful I wear it a lot during summer so it had to make it into this video and honestly I don't think they do them anymore on Swarovski but I think you can find them like secondhand for such a good price then the, the next one I actually talked about it in my jewelry collection as well but very fast I realized and it's actually a little bracelet like that this one I wear a lot when I go out this one is from my boyfriend's mom that I got for my birthday and it's so funny because it's rose gold and sparkly and this is what I'm all about. I love rose gold and sparkly stuff so it's definitely one of my favorites and I love it when you go out. It looks so good because it's so sparkly. It's perfect to go out with. So this one I will not find it the exact one online but I will definitely try to find a similar one because I feel like these ones are so fun to have and so extra if you're like me and girly. They're just great to have so I will try to find a similar one to this one. I only have one pair of earrings that I want to show and they're Swarovski ones that I got recently and basically they're these 
these ones they're beautiful they have little crystal from Swarovski and they're silver and they're so beautiful because they're not too big but they're pretty big nevertheless so they look really great on your ears like it feels like you actually have something you know it's not like just these earrings that you barely see I wanted something sparkly very extra that you could see so these ones are my go-to and to be honest I even wear them just on a random day even if I have to run errands they just make everything look so great you could literally just have your hair however no makeup and have this and it looks beautiful we're finally arriving at the end of this video and I have two little rings to show you now the first ring that I wanted to show you is from my friend Xenia I already talked about it and this one is so funny because she got it for me quite randomly and it ended up being one of my favorite rings I always wear it because it's silver and pink and it's really really sparkly so it's definitely one of my favorite rings that I always reach out for I will definitely try to find a similar version maybe another color and finally I was mentioning that my mom got me a ring from Le Nereid, which is a French brand I will link their website below because it's absolutely stunning what they have they're very into nature delicate jewelry it's beautiful and she got me the little ring that looks like my dog as you've seen and it looks exactly like her so I wear this one a lot because it's so different and people are always very intrigued when I wear it so definitely one of my favorites as well anyways this was pretty much it for my little favorite pieces of jewelry I own let me know in the comments below which one you preferred and if you haven't seen my actual jewelry collection I encourage you to go check it out it's on my channel and other than this I will see you as always in my next video <laughs>